Ladies and gentlemen, it is with esteemed pleasure that I introduce you my friend and fellow John Mayer enthusiast, Lucas Blair. Tyler went in here with the quick and easy waxing strips. It's just as easy as they say to prepare, apply, and boom, rip right off. Before applying, heat up the wax a little bit and then peel it and put it on the desired area. You ready? Wait, what? I don't really know. You ready for this? No, not. I don't really know what's going on here. <laughs> oh! <coughs> Thank you, thank you, and welcome back to the sixth episode of the New England Show. I'm your host, Scott Yeager, and as many of you know, the New England Patriots have yet again won their sixth Super Bowl. And as great as their dynasty is, there's nothing more legendary than what these group of guys made the loser of their fantasy football league do. They made him go to the dog park and cover himself in peanut butter. I mean, I gotta give the guy some credit. If my friends lost a bet like that, they wouldn't even pay up five dollars. While we're on the subject of money, I don't know if anyone's heard, this guy went into a bank in Florida and robbed it. But it wasn't just an ordinary bank robbery. He went inside and took every single thing in the bank, everything but the money. He got arrested and they asked him about it. And basically this guy said that he had nothing else to live for and he was just robbing banks for sport. I mean, that just blew my mind. We got a great show in store for you all today. Here's Regan Argyle with her take on couples therapy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Dr. Winden. I am your therapist today. Ah, thank you so much for coming in. Please tell me your names and what are your grievances with each other? Oh, uh, well, honey, you can go first. You always get to go first, so. <sighs> Fine. I'm William. This is Bozo here. It's my sloth of a wife. Um, well, hi, I'm Susan. Nice to meet you. Um, I don't really know why we're here right now. Our marriage is 
perfect. There's no problems here. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on, but. So I see there's some negative energy here. Um, clearly some chakras aren't aligned. Uh, have you checked your horoscope for this month? No, I'm here because of this slime that I'm forced to call my wife because she won't give me a divorce. She only annoys me and does everything to pinch my nerves. Honey, don't let your blood pressure rise. You know what your personal trainer says about your condition. I'm not. All right, well, I'm beginning to sense a problem here. You guys aren't doing a very good job of communicating to each other. So we're going to go ahead and try and exercise and see if we can understand where, where you guys are coming from. This is literally the dumbest thing Honey, I've ever... let's just try it. I'm, I'm sensing some hostility over there from you, sir. Are, are you perhaps a Scorpio? What? N no? Yes, like... he is. He can be very aggressive sometimes. You can't just team up on me like this. Sir, that's not at all what I'm here for. Let's just go ahead and try the exercise. Fine. So for this exercise, we're going to run through a little scenario. You guys are each going to role play each other. And maybe from here, we can see where the problem is really coming from and understand each other better. Oh, how fun. All right, let's try it. Okay. William, if you want to make this work, you're going to need to try here, OK? All right, I think we're ready. And action. <sighs> okay, I don't do that. William, what, please. If you really want this to work, you're gonna need to put some more effort into it. Fine. William, will you please do the dishes? I'm so exhausted from shopping all day with your credit card. Um, you know, there's a game going on like a few hours and, um, don't really want to miss it, even though I haven't left this couch in four days, so. I do not do that. <laughs> this is ridiculous. No, no, William, William, this is good, this is good. You were starting to see the way she sees you, but, but it will help if you stayed in character. Honey, I'm making dinner, which just means I brought home McDonald's for the sixth time this week. Won't you just please come upstairs and eat with me? Dr. Wendell, I find this extremely offensive. Yeah, I agree. William, can't you see your actions are hurting your wife here? Just because you're a Scorpio and they're known to be aggressive, that does not justify your actions against your innocent wife. This is ridiculous. She literally just did the exact same thing to me. I'm done. No, 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 please, please, William, you know, we'll try another exercise. We'll, we'll try another exercise, please. Sit down, sit down. Okay, William, we're gonna try to go ahead and, and, and cleanse your aura. We're gonna try some breathing exercises, okay? Okay, Google, please turn on ocean waves. Thank you. Ready, now we're gonna breathe in and out. Ready, in. This is so dumb. William, please. Now, Susan, I'm getting the feeling that you're really trying here, but everything keeps getting refuted by your sloth of a husband. Oh, you know what? Was it something I said? Up next, our very own Nico Ray takes on many personalities on his own spin of The Bachelor. Are you tired of constantly making hard decisions? Do you wish there was a happy medium? Do you find yourself struggling to make a decision? Introducing the Middle Twix for indecisive people. Middle Twix also gets the chicks. Don't let the left and right Twix get your head in the mix. Get the Middle Twix for a quick fix. Buy Middle Twix today. The Middle Twix, the neutral choice for indecisive people. Come in, Tiffany. Hi, Scott. Hi, Tiffany. After many hours of deciding 
who would be my wife? I've come to the decision. It's not you. You're not good enough. So, Scott, where are we going on our honeymoon? No, I'm playing. Doors over there. You can head on out. Screw you, Scott Nigger! Don't ruin this day! Friggin'. Well, to be honest with you, you are one of the least funniest people I have ever known. I don't know how you got it this far, and I definitely can't be marrying someone who's not gonna crack a funny every once in a while. Didn't want to be a wife anyways. Oh dear God. Up next, we have Ryan Ranzer's seventh grade sleepover. Kate's sister. Dude. Dude, shut up. I don't understand. You you never will have a shot with her. Bro, she said hi to I'll me. Make, I'll hallway. make sure of that. Okay, she can say hi. That doesn't mean anything. She's an eighth grader. That doesn't just happen. Bro. Yeah. I don't know, dude. She followed me on Instagram, too. I'm not worried about it. Still. Wait, is that the girl we saw jumping at Jump Street? That's what I said. Can y'all please stop talking about my sister? Wait. Oh my. Bro, my mom's gonna kill me. We gotta get this thing. Bro, I'm not even tired. Yeah, bro. same. I had like 12 Mountain Dews. Okay. <laughs> I can't laugh. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I had like 12 Mountain Dews at the mall today. <laughs> y'all can't laugh at that. Okay. Yeah, what's up with money, bro? Mountain Dews, bro. That's like $24. Dude, no way I'm tired. I had like 12 Mountain Dews at the mall. <laughs> what is so funny? Can we go? That had nothing to do with what I said, bro. Dude, I had like 12 Mountain Dews at the mall today. <laughs> Why is he saying like... Say Dews. Dews. <laughs> Alright, say it again. I won't laugh. Dews. Alright, Mountain Dews. Alright. Yeah, I had like 12 Mountain Dews at the mall today. <laughs> What's so f***ing funny about that? <laughs> it's not... Dude, I'm not tired. I had like 12 band dudes at the at the mall today. <laughs> hey, that's oh. on you, bro. That's on me. Okay. It's <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> okay. It's because I've said it like 20 times. All right. Dude, I'm not tired. I had like 12 band dudes at the mall today. Yeah, bro. I can relate. I had about 24. No way, dude. Yeah, you, bro. No one saw, right but three times more than you. Yeah. Two. Wait. Two. Did you just say three times? Do you know how to do math, dude? Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the show. Next week is a must watch. We have Bon Jovi and Rod Stewart in house. To we don't have them? All right, well, uh, next week, big show. See you there.